Hey friends, I want to say happy Easter to all of you and I, I wish you love and happiness and family time and together and joy and sunlight on your face and feeling the kiss of the sun and the whisper of Sister Moon and, and the hug of a family member and the joy of being alive and being free and being together and connecting with our Creator, uh, God, however you perceive that. Um, but I want you guys to think of something. Hundreds of thousands of people right now are being crossing the border illegally. Uh, children and people being completely uh, destroyed, stacked on top of each other, in in places uh, too, you know, on top of each other. Hundreds of thousands of people, and and, and all the horribleness going on with those poor people and those children and. And 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 most of them, I, I'm I'm hearing are having COVID, and 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 not that I even believe in any of that stuff. I know COVID's real, but it's it's a hyped up flu. But let's not get there. But but not tested, and then released into the public, given money, given plane tickets, and and all of this, you know, not nothing, and the children being given to the FBI, just basically uh, waived background checks. Um, for people housing these children. So 30, 40 children in a house with somebody with no background check, just, just the most heinous shit, excuse my language. But, but most of these people having COVID and, and, and if you believe in all that and then released in the public and you, what do you see happening? Nothing to stop it nothing to stop it yet we are being uh you know going under all of these requirements of of can't do this can't do that and have to get this and have to get that a total dichotomy and if there was some huge plague happening right if there was this giant plague happening why would they be allowing hundreds of thousands of people crossing the border in the last three months and more and more people coming semi my friend was telling me when he went down there, uh, semi trucks filled with people being released into into Texas towns, not being like brought anywhere or 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 put in hotels for quarantine, but just released completely. That's happening every day, every week, more and more. And and these poor children and thousands of I saw a video of probably maybe two thousand kids stacked underneath a freeway in the dirt side by side with each other and, and mothers and, 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 and just, you know, all of this violence, all of this happening, no COVID quarantines, no this, no that, and, and then released, and then released every seven hours, thousands more released. Think of the dichotomy. Yet, I am just watched a video of, of a person in Canada, pastor, having an Easter Sunday celebration, and, and 10 different cops show up with guns and tasers saying that they can't do the, do the worship in their church. And, and the pastor, thank God, told them to get out and said, don't come back with a warrant. And it was like 10 cops with guns and trying to intimidate people, trying to have an Easter Sunday celebration. I think there was maybe 10 or 12 people there and it was totally fine if you, you know, if you believe in all that stuff, but these cops, and this is happening all around the world. People getting arrested going to church today. Uh, pastors getting arrested because of the, the COVID lockdown. Yet at the border, all of these different things are happening. And, and none of those restrictions, none of those things are up for those people. And, and just think about the humanitarian crisis, let alone the whole COVID contradiction. So I, I hope that you share this video. I hope you think about this. I hope you make your own video. We have to come together, period, as a people. You know, we have to realize what's going down, what this is. It's a takeover of, of humanity. And, and the narrative and all the mainstream sources uh, are, are, are these marching orders of this dichotomy world that we're living in, uh, you know, and, and, and it's all about division and it's all about inversion. And, and do your research. Don't, don't look at mainstream news. Go to other news sources. But see for yourself. What I'm telling you is 100% the, the truth. Um, we have to come together. We have to come together under God. However you perceive God, we have to connect with those universal truths that come from our Creator. However you 
perceived creator, but, but truths about goodness, about life, about freedom, about connection, about family. We have to sh make videos. We have to share them. We have to come together now as a people of the world under our creator, under life, under nature, under freedom, under all natural things that are from God, that are good. And we have to realize that there is a core group behind all of this trying to and doing the most horrific destruction of all life, everything that comes from God. And, and it, they're doing it incrementally and through censorship so that we don't, most of the world doesn't know this is happening. And I know all of you probably know this, or maybe you agree, maybe you don't agree. It's not about politics. It's not about color. It's not about this. It's not about that. We are a human being, species, part of God, part of nature. We are together as one. All, the life spark in all life, whether it's this person or that person or a tree or a bug or a flower or a spirit or a being is the same. That is who we are. We have to come together. I love you. Take care. Bye.